Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're talking about macOS 10.12 Sierra. We have Siri for the first time on the desktop. New stuff in photos, picture in picture, and more. We're going to find out if it has a nutritional value of a balanced breakfast coming up. Okay guys, yeah, once again, um, I don't think this has a nutritional value of a balanced, balanced breakfast, so if that's what you were looking forward to, it's a bit of a letdown. All right, so first of all, I want to flash back to my favorite feature from last year, the mouse that shows you yes. All right, so we have Siri down here. We have Siri up here in the upper right-hand corner as well. Um, obviously, obviously, you can remove it from, from the dock. So now this launches Siri right here. So it, we can ask it anything that we could ask it on a phone um, along with some other things. So we can say, Siri, what's the Yankee score? Starts at 7.05 p.m. Well, great. I might want to keep tabs on that. So what we can do now is we can actually pin this to the notification center, right? or as a widget, actually. Um, so on Apple's page for this, they actually say you could uh, pin Twitter feeds. I haven't quite figured out how to do that. So if anybody knows, let me know. Um, we can. There's a lot of things that you can do with this. You could say, show me all the PDFs in my downloads folder. I actually had to blow away this computer twice just to set up this video. Um, the first time must have corrupted the file system somehow because it said it wasn't journaled, which I know it was. So um, <laughs> I actually had to reinstall 10.8, which came with this, and then reinstall this. Uh, the second time, I wasn't able to install any third-party software, so I had to go back to 10.8 again, install the software, and then go back to 10.12. And by the way, this is 10.12. Um, it's labeled as Mac OS 10.12, obviously not OS 10 anymore. But they, they seem to be calling it Mac OS Sierra in most places, leaving a version number off. But it is 10.12 if you look closely. Okay, so another thing we can do is we can search and drag and drop. So let's search for the Brexit. Yep. I'm not sure. I search for the. Do a search for Brexit. Well, doesn't know what Brexit is, but that's fine. So let's um. Let's head into mail here, and we can we should be able to drag and drop things into. I save this for for Andy because just to show that the British can't say they're smarter than Americans anymore. All right, so let's try and drag this over here. And there it goes. We have a, our entire search results there, and um, in our mail. So we're gonna get rid of that though. So we can pin things, we can search, drag and drop, um, and that's, it, it's all pretty cool stuff because you can't really do stuff like that on an iPhone with Siri. Um, so these, these are pretty much new features. Um, other than that, it's just phrases that you can use that they list. You can, uh, it, it's really about multitasking is what they said, is that you can, you can open up Siri and say, hey, send a message to Ali, and it'll send a message to... A friend. So while you're working on a document, you can do something like that. So there's also new stuff in photos. Now, this most of this seems to just bring it on par with the iOS app. Um, we have people, people album created. Let's view the people album, and that's really just me because you know iCloud Photo Library just kind of does its thing and it brings in what it wants to. Apparently, I only have 39 photos, and these are from the Huawei MateBook event. Which, by the way, if you're interested in the Huawei MateBook, Come back on Tuesday because that's when I can talk about it, right? I mean, I could talk about what happened at the event, obviously. Um, places, selfies, screenshots, fantastic. Um, it's it's really going in like a Google Photos direction. Remember, Google Photos is like organizing all your photos. It's like hiring a secretary to organize all your photos for you automatically, and that's clearly where they want to go with this. Um, but it seems to do it all on your device. Well, according to Apple, it does. So, so that doesn't really. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work as well as as Google Photos does. But we'll find out. Um, obviously, it's an early beta. It, it's going to need work. We're not going to see it until September or October, the final product. So, anything that's here is subject to change. Um, it's going to be refined over time. And yes, someone did leave there pants in Penn Station. So there is someone walking around New York City right now without pants. Okay, so next up we have this 
picture in picture thing. Um, I can't seem to get it to work in most places. The only way that I can is, is the place where I just saw a demo online is Vimeo. Um, we're going to shut off the volume for this portion of the video just so we don't get any copyright claims, but you can see how it works. Okay, that's enough. So you can pin it to any corner of the screen. It's going to try to go in any corner of the screen. But if you hold the command button, it'll let you place it anywhere. Um, you can also resize it however you want and throw it back up in a corner of the screen, just like that. It's a pretty cool feature. They, they announced it for iOS 9 last year. Um, this is new to Mac OS. Sorry, we're calling it Mac OS now. It's not OS 10 anymore, and I have to keep reminding myself of that. Um, one more thing I want to show. By the way, you can um, copy on one device, paste on another. Uh, sounds pretty cool, um, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to try that right now because I. That's going to require some work, and we'll, maybe we'll do that for the beta two video. Um, but one thing is that there are tabs in almost every app they said. So if we go to say uh, text edit here, and this is something that that I heard someone that. There's tabs and text edit now, which, hey, why not? And here we have it, tabs and text edit. It took me a little while to get it going, but it's here. And then you can just pop open more tabs like it's a web browser. Uh, fantastic. So uh, maps, mail, pages, numbers, keynote, text edit. Uh, I don't believe that you'll need Mac OS Sierra for the, the tabs and pages, numbers, and keynote, unless that's specifically for the latest version of the OS. Um, but that's about it for now. Um, we'll, we'll talk about more when we do the beta 2 video. Anyway, guys, I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.